Hello everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I am gonna be doing my NBA playoff predictions. The NBA regular season literally just ended minutes ago. The playoff bracket is officially set. So I'm gonna be doing my full predictions for the 2024 NBA playoffs. I think we are set up for one of the most entertaining playoffs we've had in a very long time. There are so many good teams in each conference. It's gonna be very fun to watch. Before we get started though with my predictions, make sure you guys go down and comment your predictions for the playoffs, uh, who makes it to the finals, who wins the finals, and all that fun stuff. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. But now, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in the Eastern Conference. We're starting with the play-in. Uh, the 10-9 matchup is the Bulls and Hawks. I'll go the Bulls. I'm going to be honest. I don't really think it matters um, in that one. Uh, the 8-7 game is the 76ers and the Heat. I'm going to go with the 76ers to win this game, and that would set up an 8-9 match up for the final spot in the playoffs in between the Bulls and the Heat. I think the Heat win that. Uh, the Heat and 76ers are miles above the two 9 and 10 teams, so I'm going with the Heat in that one. Then the Western Conference play, and we have the uh, Pelicans and the Lakers. That will be a really good game. I'm going to go with the Pelicans here. For some reason, I don't know, I feel like the Pelicans get revenge for the regular season loss that just happened uh, earlier today. And also, I think the Lakers might tank this game, just seeing who's at one and who's at two um, in the Western Conference, but I'm going with the Pelicans. Then uh, the 9-10 matchup, we have the Kings and Warriors. I really feel like the Warriors would win this game. I'm going to go with the Kings, though. I think the Kings pull off the upset and get revenge for last year's playoffs. That sets up a Lakers-Kings matchup for the final spot, and I'm going to go with the Lakers to win that and get the final eight seed in the playoffs. Now, moving on to the actual playoff playoffs. The first round, starting off, we're going to start and go through the whole entire Eastern Conference first round. We start with the Celtics and the Heat. Even though the Heat up upset them last year as an eight seed, I don't think it happens this year. Boston is really, really good. Had the best record in the NBA. I'm going with the Celtics, I'll say, in six games. Then we have the 4-5 matchup, the Cavs and the Magic. Magic uh, overexceeded expectations, but I don't think they beat the Cavaliers in this series. I'm going to go with the Cavs to win this one in six as well. Then we move to three versus six. My Indiana Pacers are finally back in the playoffs, and they get the Milwaukee Bucks very first round. I don't know the status of Giannis in this series, I'm going to be honest. And even though I want to pick my Pacers, and I think they will make a really good series of this, I just don't see us beating Milwaukee. I think we could have beat uh, a lot of other teams, but I don't think we can beat them. I'm going with the Bucks in seven. And then the final series in the Eastern Conference, we have the Knicks versus the 76ers. I think this would be a really good series, but in the end, New York seems really, really good, especially in this later part of the season. I'm going to go with the Knicks to win this series in six games. Moving on to the Western Conference first round, we're starting with the 1-8. We have the Thunder, the Young Thunder team versus the Lakers, even though the Thunder are the one seed. I'm going to go with the Lakers to pull off an upset. The Lakers seem like a team that would do better in the playoffs in the regular season. Thunder obviously have not really been in the playoffs with this young team. So I think the Lakers win in, I will say, seven games. Then the 4-5 matchup, a really good one, the Clippers and the Mavericks. I know lots of people would go with the star-studded Clippers team. I'm going with the Mavericks to win in seven and that moves us to the six versus three, the Suns versus Timberwolves. I think this will be the best first round series out of any of them. I'm going to go with Minnesota to win in seven. I feel stupid going four, seven games or three, seven game series to start off with in the West, but I think that's going to be the best series. I think it's a toss up. The Suns may be the better team on paper, but Minnesota's really been good this year. I'm going with them. Then the final matchup, the Nuggets versus the Pelicans. I'm going with the Nuggets in five. They're the reigning champs, and they are still as good as ever. I'm going with Denver to win in five. Then we go to the second round. Starting on the east side, we have the Celtics and the Cavaliers. I'm going with the Celtics to win this one, I'm going to say, in six games. Then we have the Knicks and the Bucks. This would be a really fun series. And I think this all depends on how healthy Giannis is. If he is fully healthy, I'm going to assume he is by this series. I'm going to go with Milwaukee to beat the two-seeded New York Knicks in seven games. The Western Conference second round now, we have the Los Angeles Lakers and the Dallas Mavericks, the five versus eight seed. I, this is another toss-up. I would feel so stupid going with the Lakers um, here. 
but I'm going to do it anyway. I just don't want to bet against LeBron James, especially when my gut's telling me they win that series. I'm going to go with the Lakers to win in another seven-game series. Then we have Denver and Minnesota. This would be another really fun series. I think the Nuggets, though, win this one. I will pick them in six games. That sets up a almost dead similar um, Western and Eastern Conference matchups from last year. The only difference is the Bucks would be there instead of the Heat. Starting with the Eastern Conference, the Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm going to go with the Celtics to win in six games. I definitely feel like they come out of the East in this one. I could be wrong. Sometimes they just um, don't show what they're capable of, but I think they get through the East. I'm going with them in six games. Then the Lakers and the Nuggets, a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals a few years before that. I think the Nuggets win again. They, I really think, are going to go back to the finals. I'm going to choose them also in six games. And that sets up a Nuggets versus Celtics finals, what I really thought it should have been last year. And going to be honest, I think these are the clear-cut two best teams in the NBA. I feel like they're on a collision course, and this would be one of the best NBA finals we've had in a very long time. Nuggets versus Celtics. Celtics had the better record. Nuggets are the reigning champs. I feel like lots of people would go Celtics here. I'm going Nuggets. I think they repeat as champions. I think they win this series in seven games. It would be an unbelievable uh, matchup, a toss-up series, but I'm going with the Nuggets to repeat as NBA champions. I just, I'm just i the most confident in that team, if that makes sense. But that is my NBA playoff predictions. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Like I said, make sure to comment your predictions with how many good teams there are this year. It can go so many different ways, so let me hear your guys' predictions. And don't get mad at me if you disagree with mine. Like I said, there's so many toss-up series. So many good matchups this year. Make sure to leave a like on this video. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have so many cool videos coming out soon. You're not going to want to miss. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. You won't be disappointed. But that's going to be all for today's video. So till next time, see ya.